Hello and welcome aboard the T-34-1940 here on Kuban in a realistic battle. Now, you know, your expectations shouldn't be too high as I didn't manage to, you know, get a 20 kill game. Uh, it's just more like a lot less. But I survived the battle and it was, again, the first impressions driving around with the Russians. Now, after playing numerous Panzer IV versions, uh, I have to say a T-34 is like a Panzer IV, just with much better armament, much better gun handling, much better uh, turret rotation speed, uh, better reloads, and also the damage output is better, but the penetration and gun depression are both worth, uh, worse. So I see a bunch of Panzer IVs going into position, and I even don't care. I just want to go, you know, near the cap zone. Uh, this uh, this map Kuban in this configuration is very similar to arcade or the arcade version of it. So I know exactly what I have to do. And uh, by the way, if I haven't released it already. Uh, well, I have definitely released it, uh, this guide on how to gun depression. And so when I drive in specific ways, I drive the way that I can shoot potential rivals that are coming, uh, you know, my way. So I see this German AAA and of course my APHE shell fragments and of course I one shot the enemy. What else? Okay, he didn't see me. Uh, he was either focusing somebody else or I don't know. At this point, I hear engine noises left and right and behind me. That one behind me is a friendly tank, so left and right must be enemies, right? Well, let's have a look. Um, in arcade, I would be a bit more reckless. But again, I'm a bit hesitating as I don't want to screw up, you know, I want a decent result. So first kill in the back, I see then this Stück and I drive the way so that I can aim for him. Not enough gun depression? No problem, comrade. You know, the suspension works how it works. So a fast reverse and I had for a split, se split second enough gun depression to one shot that poor bastard. Then I see a, another tank. Uh, it was surprisingly a Stuck 3F. It looked a little bit different from my perspective, but whatever. I see on the map uh, po uh, markers popping up, you know. And I thought for a moment he just would be on fire, but he was already dead. And that's basically the phase where I, I felt like, okay, let's just clean up. The battle is already decided. Alright, it is already decided. Then I see there this Stuck. I saw a marker pop up behind me right now. I tried just to get out of, uh, you know, sh potential shooting uh, angle of this guy. And then I couldn't finish the Stuck 3F with a shot, but he burned to death. Poor bastard. Yeah, then I tried to turn around and hunt the uh, enemy. I guess it was a triple A down, but yeah, it was not to be. If you wanna, if you want, if you're wondering about my voice and why I'm sounding a little bit sick, that's because I don't play. Pokemon Go. No, I play Sickness to Go and I catch a cold in the rain. Yeah, rain. There are a lot of colds. Yeah. So, um, then I got absolutely reckless. I saw this Pants 4. Seems like he gave up and I just wanted to make sure. Yeah, he's still alive. Got the marker. One shot in the turret. And that's the part where I should have bounced. But I was like, well, let's try it. Yeah, side armor of Panzer IVs throughout the tiers, pathetically weak. But it is still enough to trigger the fuse. How helpful is that? Um, that was my fourth kill. And from now on, that was 
the battle. That was a realistic battle. And at this point, I didn't feel any real difference in the flow of the battle or my skill or the results to arcade. One big difference again to arcade, there would be more players because they could have a respawn and it wouldn't be like such a snowball effect. That's right. Realistic battle, they feel like a snowball. You know, you have a little advantage at the beginning and you take out players, um, you know, that took out a tank and uh, yeah, you know, they, they can't respawn. They're it's they're gone for their team all right and you will see at the end of the battle what i mean when i show you the post battle result screen now is this bad is this good ah uh, you know i wouldn't mind if there would be more players initially you know that was by the way poor driving by me but you know i have like three times the weight seems like and I saw the shot and that just could be a plan and for the rest of the battle I tried to shoot them down now from here on I make it quick and just fast forward now if this battle uh, is not spectacular why do I show you well you know many people said play realistic why don't you play realistic oh you're such an arcade noob uh, realistic is so much better uh, we hate the things that are that arcade brings to um, you know realistic it's actually the other way around but you know just for the sake of the argument so many people want to see me trying to play realistic and there was one thing that I said to myself well okay let's try it but begin to you know low to mid tiers to get a feeling for it because you know, what is it like? What are the differences between the nations? I played the Germans in the first one you saw the video I uploaded. And so now it's time for the Russians. I will then c um, cover the Americans. And or first the Britain, British and then the Americans. I'm not sure about that. But uh, yeah, so this was a spectacularly easy victory for the Russians. And that was a shame that I missed uh, this shell. It would have been a glorious uh, shot. But we won. And yeah, cut down again a, a, a battle that was decided a long time ago. Where I just was driving stupidly around, you know, doing nothing. Just, you know, being so bored that I shot at planes that I probably would have never hit so here are the post battle result screens uh, five ground units destroyed one of them was an AI um, and I got I was actually just third and with 978 score points and here is the difference the first three of our team made more kills than the entirety of the enemy team and the only reason why they shot down more planes than we was the fact that there were just more Russian planes in the air you know um, so yeah and again the result was not convincing um, for the time invested you know and just driving around stupidly it it has an awful similarity to hunting the last bomber in realistic airplanes um, air battles and while I certainly love um, you know RRB and prefer it nowadays over arcade simply because of the reason that in air arcade there are too many players on a too tiny battlefield respawning all the time and your tactics like boom and zoom just mm, are often neglected by the tininess of the battlefield um, it is a nice experience at tier 1 2 maybe 3 but from tier 4 to 5 arcade is not worth playing anymore in my opinion but that's just my personal opinion um, if you enjoy it just play it but you know I, I think it's more challenging tank realistic battle still I don't get the right feeling for it where I said 
okay, yeah, right, let's do it, um, because it's so much better than arcade. For me, as a as a as a player that loves effective grinding and that loves kills, that loves good results, realistic tank battles, ah, uh, still not totally convinced. But I still will carry on. So, um, let me know in the comment section what you think. Um, please like the video if you did. And subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. And see you on the battlefield.